Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be looking at Blender 2.82. So there is a brand new feature that they've added to the beveling tool that exists in Blender. This is actually glad in my heart because, you know, um, to actually get this feature in Blender right now would make a lot of sense for a lot of people. So what this feature is, is right now in Blender, you can use the profile tool. So there is now a profiling tool that exists within the beveling section of blender so when you're modeling you can choose what kind of profile you want so you're not going to be restricted by either the fixed one or the corners all of those things you can now make those decisions yourself so let's get right into it and see what it looks like so by default once you hit the shift and the a and you come over here you click and create a new cube what we want to do here is we want to jump into the edit mode and i'm just going to press two on the keyboard so i can select this and this is actually a feature that exists in cinema 4d you know houdini maya and i guess 3d really studio max and it's really cool to see that blender now has it so with this right here all i have to do right now is to just simply activate the beveling tool which you can do by simply hitting you know ctrl b or you can simply go through and use the button that exists here so you can choose to use this tool right here to do that okay so it's very easy so once you click and drag you can get that done so depending on the one that makes you happy you can actually go ahead and use it so i'm just going to you know select whatever edge so depending on the edge you want select whatever edge you want then simply hit ctrl b click and drag and you can have all of that and you know once you roll your mouse you can add all of these extra subdivisions that you want to have so i'm just going to keep this as simple as it is right about here and from here you'll be able to have access to all of the properties that you have here but if you look down here you see the small button called custom profile so we're going to take a look at the custom profile right now and depending on the number of subdivision segments that you've given so if i simply turn this down you can actually see this so if i turn this down to four you can see i have that if i turn it down to three you can see i have that and you can find the corresponding all right so you can find the corresponding nodes here so i can punch this up and you can see i can get that feedback and at the same time i can pick this and bring this down and get some very cool feedback to me this makes a lot of sense i kind of see where this thing is going to play a lot more so cinema 40 just came up with something like that recently of course this has been existing in houdini for a very long time and it's really really interesting to see that you know blender is coming up to speed with things like this these are very little novelties that just makes a lot of sense and at the same time if you come over here there are certain presets that you have access to so you can use this preset and you can definitely just you know tweak them to get what you want and at the same time you can make yours as well so right now i don't really know how you can actually go ahead and make yours but i think you can make yours and you know you can save that probably this is going to be something that they'll make available in the future so once you're done making something like this so i'm just going to you know switch to something that looks pretty cool uh maybe something like uh like this okay so maybe we can go ahead and get something like that and once you have something that looks maybe as cool as what you're looking for this let's offset this by a tiny bit so i can just offset this very small and actually i can also increase the subdivision so we can get that okay so i can increase that so we can get something cool like this so once you're done with something like this and you just go ahead and take that out what happens is if you click one two and three and you do the you know the beveling thing one more time so hit ctrl and b you're going to get exactly those things across the other surfaces and this is pretty pretty neat i love this feature right now and i can't wait to see you guys play with it so this is the brand new tool that exists right now for blender A similar thing exists in houdini which is you know you come over here you add up the poly bevel so you just you just go ahead and add up the poly bevel and once you throw in the poly bevel here you will be able to have access to the poly bevel so i can just go in here and increase all right i can increase the amount of distance that i want and from here i can choose the word profile so by just clicking on the profile right now i have access to the profile and you know i can add as much uh divisions as i want and i can control these things 
as well as I want them. So this is also something pretty neat to see. So something similar like this is what you can also get in Maya. So directly inside Maya, once you just simply go all the way down, you can enable bevel and you can see that directly from here, you have some presets, all right? So you can see all of these presets that you have. And at the same time, you can go in there and create your own. So this is uh, something that is very lovely to see that it has made its way to Blender. And I cannot wait to see how you know the community gets to use it and how receptive people will be about this and if you want to get the custom thing turned off you can simply just you know click on this custom button to turn it off and turn it back on turn it off and turn it back on and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you already know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday to tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.